Hey everybody, welcome back to MG Guy Vintage Vehicles. Greg here, I found 10 more vintage vehicles available for sale this week across North America. I'll provide links in the description below the video for each of these cars. Hopefully you might find your dream car, but if not, I hope you'll at least enjoy checking out some of these awesome cars for sale. All information is taken from the original ad and we take no responsibility for the information provided. Please do your due diligence whenever buying a used car. Now, let's get on with this week's cars for sale. Number one, a 1931 Ford Model A. All right, so first up, a 1931 Ford Model A, listed for $13,500 US in Harrison, Michigan. It's been driven 3,000 miles, has manual transmission, exterior color is black, interior color is also black. Fuel type is gasoline, this vehicle is paid off. Seller's descriptions, short and sweet. 31 Model A, five speed on floor, Esslinger or Esslinger built motor, Seller says, I have no time for it. Fun to drive. And next up, number two, we have a 1950 Dodge Coronet. All right, so up next, a 1950 Dodge Coronet. Listed for $7,500 in Rocky Face, Georgia. It's been driven 99,999 miles. I have a feeling those were numbers that were just punched in. Automatic transmission. Exterior color is red. Interior color is red. Fuel type gasoline. This vehicle is paid off. Seller's description is as follows. 1950 Dodge Coronet two-door original car with inline six-cylinder and automatic fluid drive transmission. Needs a little TLC, but a really solid old cruiser. Running and driving. Might trade on older cars or something like that. No, you don't need my number, so just come and check it out. All right, so we're up to the third one now. This one is a 1964 Chevrolet Corvair. All right, next up, 1964 Chevrolet Corvair Monza, listed for $9,000 US in Los Altos, California. Driven 86,000 miles, automatic transmission, exterior color is blue, interior color is blue, fuel type is gasoline, very good condition. Seller's description is as follows. Up for sale is my 1964 Chevy Corvair. I've only had the car for a short time and have to sell because I'm moving soon and won't have the space, unfortunately. I have many receipts from the previous owner's maintenance. The car was also recently repainted. There is no rust anywhere on the car. I replaced the wheels and tires. Tires are brand new and I just got it aligned. I've only put a few hundred miles on it since alignment. It will also come with the stock wheels and tires as well, which are also brand new. I have multiple sets of hubcaps for them. The car does leak a small amount of oil, but it doesn't affect how it drives at all. I just rebuilt the front brakes as well. It fires right up and drives great. Has the 110 engine. Thanks for looking. I can send additional pictures of anything, just ask. For some reason, the pictures look purple tinted, but the car is blue. Alrighty, so up next here, 1970 Ford Maverick. All right, so this 1970 Ford Maverick has been listed for $6,500 US in Caldwell, Indiana. It's been driven 66,000 miles, manual transmission, exterior color is orange, interior color is black, fuel type gasoline. This vehicle is paid off, clean title. This vehicle has no significant damage or problems. Seller's description is as follows. 1970 Ford Maverick, 200 cubic inch straight six, with three on the tree manual transmission. Car starts and runs well. It is drivable. 
car has been sitting for six years. Newer tires would make a great father-son project car. All original, non-molested car. Needs a paint job and interior work. Next up, we have a 1926 Ford Model T. All right, so this 1926 Ford Model T has been listed for $8,500 in Pineville, Missouri. It's been driven 50,000 miles, automatic transmission, exterior color is black, interior color is black, fuel type's gasoline, one owner. This vehicle is paid off, clean title. This vehicle has no significant damage or problems. Seller's description is as follows. 1926 Model T, 350, 350. Edelbrock 4-barrel, mild cam, contender intake, fresh tune-up, shift kit, 9-inch Ford rear end, 44 front end, 11-gallon aluminum fuel tank, runs and drives great with no issues, very fun and a head-turner, clean title in hand. This is a toy, not a show vehicle. It does have small cos cosmetic flaws. It is a real all-metal 26. Bed is a 1928. Serious inquiries only, please. If post is up, it's available. PM me with any other questions. No trades, $8,500 cash. All right, so next up, we have a 1957 Ford 300 Custom. Hi. You're good. All right, so this 1957 Ford 300 Custom has been listed for $5,000 US in Holden, Louisiana. Driven 75,000 miles, automatic transmission, exterior color is black, interior color is gray, fuel type gasoline, three plus owners, this vehicle is paid off. Seller's description is a little bit short, but is as follows. Original 272Y block V8, Two-speed transmission, runs and drives. Not a daily driver, needs a little work. Body in fair condition. Ford 300 Custom Sedan, four-door. And here we have a 1925 Chevrolet Touring. All right, so the 1925 Chevrolet Touring, up for sale, $15,000 Canadian, listed in Quinty West, Ontario. Driven 300 kilometers, Manual transmission, exterior color is blue, interior color is black, fuel type gasoline, very good condition. Seller's description is as follows. 1925 Chevrolet Superior Series K, four-door touring. Car was purchased from an estate a number of years ago with new interior, tires, and top since purchase. Nice running car requiring only minor finishing touches to complete restoration. Looking for a reasonable cash offer. Please call or email if you are interested, and I will get back to you. Okay, next up, 1965 Dodge Coronet. All right, so here we have a 1965 Dodge Coronet, listed for $12,000 in Cambridge City, Indiana. Driven 74,000 miles, automatic transmission, exterior color is blue, interior color is blue, three plus owners, this vehicle is paid off. Clean title, this vehicle has no significant damage or problems. Seller's description, once again, a short one. 65 Dodge Coronet, 273 V8 with nice sounding cam. Runs great. All right, so up next, we have a 1955 Buick Roadmaster. All right, so this 1955 Buick Roadmaster was listed for $9,000 in Fayetteville, Tennessee. Driven 100,000 miles, automatic transmission, exterior color is green, interior color is green, fuel type, gasoline. Seller's description is as follows. 350 with automatic 3-speed, 17-inch wheels, has some cracked glass, definitely a cool patina rod. Top is chameleon flip flake paint. Power steering and disc front brakes, runs and drives, fuel cell is in the trunk. Speedometer works. Will not respond to is this available. If it's up, it is. Trades considered. All right, last but certainly not least, a 1977 Chevrolet Vega.
this 1977 Chevrolet Vega has been listed for $14,999 in New Tecumseh, Ontario. Driven 99,548 kilometers, automatic transmission, exterior color is black, interior color is black, fuel type gasoline, engine size, one liter. Uh, I believe it's a little bigger than that. We'll see that in a moment. Horsepower, 500 horsepower, three plus owners. Seller's description is as follows. 1977 Vega 406 small block with a 350 turbo tranny, both fresh. Runs well, will need a final good setup. Body is all metal. Rear bumper mounts will need attention. Runs, stops. Come take a look. Please phone me. No pen pals. Thanks. Okay, that's it for another week. I hope you enjoy the cars we showcased this week. Uh, make sure you come back on a weekly basis. We try to upload every Sunday evening and showcase some of the uh, great vintage vehicles available for sale online. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will talk to you next week. Bye now.